what we have here is an Alice pack. It's a small one, better suited to myself. My bug out bag needs to be able to get me seven to ten days because that is what we anticipate the maximum length of time, no matter what situations occur, that it would take us to get to the retreat. So we have the standard items. These are uh, protein bars, MREs, and the reason we chose MREs is because of the calorie content and the fact that we can just open them and eat. Of course, Vienna sausage, sterno, water, most important thing. Rice, creamer, coffees, drink mixes, that covers our food. Now, some people can carry less, so I may have the rice for everybody and someone else may have the rest of the other ingredients. We have a spoon and a cup and a fork. Remember, tape them so they don't make noise. We have our maps and our survival information, some paper and a pen to leave a note. Poncho, several knives, lip balm, drinking water, tablets, batteries, you notice no flashlight here? That's a missing item. Bullets, something to clean my hands with. These are really nice if you haven't seen them before. Magic towels. They're very small and compact, but they expand to the size of a washcloth. Bug repellent, band-aids, ammonia inhalants, an axe, needle and thread, all your lighting implementation. If you haven't seen these before, these are Vaseline cotton balls. You can actually cook a meal on them. And all you do is you take Vaseline and you really rub it into the cotton ball and then make a wick out of it. And you can light this and it can burn for close to five minutes. You could easily boil water in the cup. You notice there's no pots. The cup becomes our pot. Butane, to go with a butane lighter, you should have multiple sources of lighting. Q-tips, cotton balls, and gauze. Change of clothing and warm socks. So what is it that's missing from this? Something that's very, very important, and anybody that has to walk, even if you're just walking from work, is probably going to need this unless they walk on a regular basis. So tomorrow night on PrepperBroadcasting.com, we're going to cover bug out bags. And I hope when I ask the question, what's missing from my bug out bag, I get some really great answers. And we'll talk about it and find out why we choose the things we choose. And I hope you all give a warm welcome to my son. See you at 8 p.m. Central Time at PrepperBroadcasting.com. Blessings.